What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth. And today, I am going to be coming to you to show you guys, or to try, my first attempt at cooking turkey burgers in the air fryer. So, I had these turkey burgers. Here, we always eat these. These are butterball turkey burgers from Walmart. And they are already seasoned with sweet onion seasoning. And it's a 75% 70 less fat. So, um, I'm going to be attempting that in the air fryer, y'all. Okay, so I got my turkey burger right here. They come in a six pack. If y'all are just interested to see what they look like on the inside. They come in a six pack. And they have two packs of uh, these in it with three in each pack. So, that is what I got today. But, I got this turkey burger. And I'm going to I'm going to put some additional season. I know it already got season on it, but I'm going to put some cayenne on it cuz I like a little spice. And that's what this is, cayenne. And I also have a garlic powder cuz I just love garlic powder on everything. Garlic powder. And I got a little bit of cajun in here which is um Tony's and that comes in a green container from Walmart. So I'm just going to put it on top of here. Y'all know it's already frozen, so it really ain't going it ain't going to stick stick maybe. Oh, it's just sticking a little bit. Okay. So, put the toners on there. And, this is garlic powder. And, a little bit of cayenne. Because I wanted to have some a kick to it a little bit. Okay. That's my cayenne. So, all I'm going to do now is, I don't know if I need to spray it with oil or not, but just for... Just for the sake of spraying with oil, like I do everything else I put in the air fryer, I'm going to get my canola oil out here and I'm going to spray that down at least so the seasons can stick to it. And then I'm going to flip it over and spray that side. And I'm going to probably put a little garlic powder on that side as well. Okay. Just for the sake of putting it on now, okay. Maybe I want my burger spicy. Hey, hi. Let's see. Put a little cayenne on there. <laughs> Hopefully the burger don't be too hot. I think it's going to be good because the um the, the bun is going to take place of the, uh you know, it's going to kind of knock out the hot. So, it should be pretty good. I'm thinking and I'm hoping, okay? So, now I got my air fryer here. And as y'all see, my air fryer came with a middle slot thing right here. Um, which I put, I put it in here. See, it comes out. You just slide it in and slide it out. It came with this. And if you're cooking like more than one different, uh, more than one thing or whatever, or you want to separate your food, or you don't want it touching, you can slide that in. So the reason why I put that in there is because I'm going to also be cooking tater tots with this. So, um, I got these tater tots right here. The Great Value brand from Walmart. And I'm going to be putting them in. But I'm not going to put the tater tots in there yet. Because the tater tots may take less time to cook in my air fryer than a turkey burger. So I'm going to start out going ahead and put the turkey burger in there. And I'm just going to spray this one side over here. And I'm going to put the turkey burger in there. Okay. Alright. I just sprayed the other side. I don't think I need to spray that. I don't think I need to spray that side until um, I'm ready to cook in there. So that is what my turkey burger looks like in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it inside my air fryer. And I'm going to wait like, um, I'm going to wait like 10 minutes maybe. The lady said it took her burger 25 minutes. I don't know. I've been watching different vi videos, y'all. So she said it took her burger 25 minutes. But she had two burgers. So maybe mine might take less time because I'm only doing one because everybody else done eight. So... I'm just doing this one for me. Anyhow, let me put this in there and shut up. Hopefully. I'm going to put it on... I'm going to put it on 10 minutes, y'all. Because I know from my own experience that my tater tots usually take about 15 minutes and then they're done. So I'm going to put this on 10, hoping that it take like 25 minutes and then I can put the tater tots in the next. So while my turkey burger is in the air fryer, I'm going to go ahead and use, get my tater tots and put them in a plate because I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning on them too. Uh oh, that might be too many. That is too many because it's just me. Babe, you want some of these tater tots? Okay, he don't want none. Okay, so nobody want 
in it because everybody already ate. So I was I was trying to make sure everybody was fed before I did this video because it make it easier for me to cook when I'm only cooking for a few people, okay? So anyways, I got these tater tots out. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on them. These tater tots say they already seasoned, but they be telling the stories. They don't be telling the truth. Put a little garlic powder on the tater tots. And I'm going to put a little bit of Cajun on there too. Okay, that's enough for that. And then we're just going to leave that until the 10 minutes is up on the turkey burger. And we're going to see how that looks. Uh oh, y'all. I found the slice of turkey bacon in the refrigerator. And my husband had just bought a pack yesterday. So I broke it in half. And I'm going to add it in there with my uh, turkey burger. Hopefully. Uh oh. If I add it in there, look like that. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to have a turkey bacon burger. I don't think the turkey should take long as the burger. So them 10 minutes back with the burger almost up. And I'm going to add the uh, potato tots in there in a minute. Okay, y'all. So the timer has went off for my 10 minutes. And this is what my burger is looking like so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those tater tots to the other side. Everything I put on there probably just fell off in the bottom. <laughs> Oh, man. I forgot to spray it with oil, but it's all good. We're going to go ahead and put it back in there for an additional, I'm going to say 15 minutes. And I might want to flip that burger. I might want to flip that burger. Now, that burger, I just touched it now. It's cold. So, hopefully 15 minutes will be enough. I don't know. I don't know. Flip that in there. Oh man, this hurt my hand so bad. Okay, put that in there, and then we're gonna push it back in there for an additional 15. So, y'all, I just had a thought. Um, I got this piece of onion that I just sliced, and I said I was gonna get it and put it on my burger. Um, I was thinking if I would, if I could put it in the air fryer too. <laughs> ain't got nobody to ask him. So I'm just going to spray it with a little olive oil here. And a little olive oil on the other side. Just so it'll be wet. Hopefully it don't dry it out. I don't know. We finna see y'all. Finna see what it be like. I'm going to sit it right on top of the burger. <laughs> I'm just experimenting today. It look like that on top of the burger. Alright. Put it back in. I'm going to spray it one more time just in case. <laughs> so now I got my little, my little lonely looking buns over here. I had these, I got some wheat bread from uh, Nature's Own Hamburger Buns, whole wheat bread. And I got these, they look flat. I don't know why, but that's how they came. And um, I'm just going to put regular toppers on them. Like, um, I have this right here. This is yum yum sauce I got from the Chinese spot. And they sell it in 50 cent containers, so I just so I just stopped by and got this a couple days ago when I had did those crab legs, and I had got two of them, so it's cheaper for me to just get one 50 cent, cause a big one cost four dollars or something. Child. While waiting on my food to get done, I am my bacon. My bacon already looked like it's done. This is what it looked like, y'all. This is what it's looking like so far. You can see that bacon in there. I'm gonna take that bacon out, cause it looked like it's. It's done already. Let me put that to the side. The bacon look like it's done. You can't even really see it, but I'm gonna take it out. It's done. It's like two pieces of paper. Y'all know what turkey bacon do. Let me put that back in now. So I got these two pieces of bacon sitting right here. Maybe I just put them across a tomato. With that cross of tomato like that. That's all I needed right there for that. And then I'm going to, y'all know turkey bacon be looking like fake bacon anyhow. Um, put my, oh, put my mayonnaise on there first. Mayonnaise. 
don't know how to make a burger, y'all. I don't know if it, the mayonnaise is going on the top or the bottom, but I think, I think it do. They all go on the top. And my bread so thin, Chad. Let me, um, put my mayonnaise on. some mustard. Okay. And that's, that's it for that. So I'm going to put my tomatoes back over here. And my bacon. And then we just going to wait for the burger to get done. The turkey burger, I believe it's ready. And I'm going to take it out and let y'all see what it looks like. Y'all see what it's looking like. Okay. Okay. Those tater tots are definitely ready. Once you start, once you start cooking in the air fryer enough, you will know what your food look like when it's ready. Because at first, I, I did buy a timer. I do have a timer, and you can always use the timer to um, check your food. To see, you know, for the correct temperature. Um, Cause that's what it recommends. These tater tots done, honey. Ain't nobody got to tell me that. Stephen wanted to see that them done. So I got my turkey burger. And I'm going to put it over here. And those onions came out decent, y'all. Hold on. I ain't even on the camera. Those onions came out pretty decent, y'all. Because I was thinking about caramelizing those onions on the um, stove before I put them on there. Because I didn't want my onions crunchy. But they did pretty good. And... I, ain't, I don't think I sprinkled. I ain't put no seasoning on them. I just um, sprayed that oil on them, right? Yeah, I sprayed that oil on them. So I'm going to put this on top. And there goes my a burger. That's a good looking burger there, y'all. Okay, here's an up close look of the burger. It's juicy as you guys can see. It's still juicy. And okay, so I have added my tater tots to my plate. Tater tots good and crispy. So uh, like I did, like I like y'all saw me do, it took me, I did the burger for 10 minutes before I put the tater tots in there. So if you're gonna do this recipe, cook the burger first for about 10 minutes and make sure not for 10 minutes, not about exactly 10 minutes. And um you probably can go up to 12 minutes and then then put your fries in there after that because y'all know hamburger and fries or tater tots don't cook at the same uh time so there is another look at that burger i'm gonna cut it open just so y'all can see it even though i don't eat my burgers cut in half oh gonna... y'all see that smoke okay that little onion that came off and you going back on now. Thank you. Okay, y'all. That is the finished product. I hope you guys like what you see. I'm going to give this burger a try. So y'all can already know what it is. You bite it. Mmm. Mmm. Those onions taste good on there, y'all. For real. Good job. Thumbs up. Okay, y'all. I was going to let y'all see my face, but um, I got to go because it's good. And I want my food to get cold. Time for taco with my mouth full. Anyways, you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Get some of this yum yum sauce. Mm. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.